we're going to go over how to attach the current model uh, bag with the squadron sleeve and the tensioners to go on the frame. Uh, and, and what I want to make sure people understand is when these, when you get these bags, that's a striker, XL, striker, straight jacket, hoodlum, nargali, any of these bags, they all attach the same way and they attach to the tactical or the duplex light or ultralight the same way. Um, it's pretty simple. You have the squadron sleeve, the meat shelf, and then you have these two tensioning straps, try to hold this up, down at the bottom. And what's going to happen is I'm going to slide this squadron sleeve over the top of the frame, and then I'm going to attach these straps to the common loop on the bottom of the frame to tension the squadron sleeve to the top of the frame. Hopefully that made sense. As far as the frame portion goes, these are the plastic common loops I'm talking about. The tensioning straps that I just showed you will actually attach to this top common loop, not the bottom. Um, and again, that keeps the hypalon or the, excuse me, squadron sleeve from coming off the frame. So, super simple. First thing we're going to do when you get the frame is detach these. These are just slotted uh, male buckles from this tab loop. And obviously what these are attached up here for is when you run the frame without a bag on it. You've got double tab loops up here. And you can uh, imagine, I guess, uh, the way that these attach with these not being sewn on, you can do pretty much anything you want. The only reason why I bring that up is a lot of people get confused that these are, these are they're static. They don't, they don't move. And they're not static, obviously. You can move these anywhere you want. So make sure and check, because we do get a lot of phone calls at customer service with people saying, uh, my buckle's sewn in on the wrong place. It's made to be moved. So anyway, I've got these detached. You just slide that right into the squadron sleeve get it pulled fairly tight. Now I'm going to try and do this backwards for the camera, but you've got plastic common loops, the load shelf, and with the load shelf or the meat shelf, I don't attach that yet. I just put that flat up here, and then we've got these, and we send them with Velcro to keep these from flopping around. Take the Velcro off, and David, is this going to be, you going to be able to see this? I think so. Okay, so doing this backwards is difficult. So I'm running this through that plastic common loop. And this usually takes like 60 seconds. It's not too bad of a deal. And then right here, once that's run through, I've got this tensioner. So now I'm going to thread it through the tension lock. And I'm just snugging, snugging that tight, and that's pulling that squadron sleeve tight to the top of the frame so it can't ever come loose. And you want to keep it fairly snug. So I'll get this other one done. Kind of looking at a side view here. So I've got that, snugging it down tight. If you're worried about these straps, you can take the Velcro that it came with, and I will roll these up like so. And then Velcro it back to itself. Now those are out of the way, and the frame and the bag can't, can't be separated. Now this can't pull off of the top, that squadron sleeve, because those tensioners are holding it down. So it's pretty simple. Those tensioners, uh, you don't have to have them super tight. I keep them fairly snug myself. Uh, but as long as the bag doesn't come off the top of the frame, you're good to go. So again, take off these clips. Uh, when they're attached to the frame, the slotted female or males, then slide the squadron sleeve over the frame, attach the tensioners, 
Now you're just going to attach that slotted buckle back to the squadron sleeve so your load lifter is now attached. It's that simple. I know it's confusing at first, uh, but you can get it done in about 60 seconds, no problem.